Hi Trumpets, Mrs. Stein here. This video is going to show you how to oil your valves and to grease your slides. This video is going to be kind of long, so bear with me. And if you need to take a break at any time, you can just pause. So here's what you're going to need for this. You are going to need valve oil, which looks like this. It could have any sort of logo on it, but it should say valve oil on it. It might say valve and slide oil, that's fine. You are going to need tuning slide grease. It might be in a tub like this. It might be in a little squirt bottle, or it may even be in a little chapstick form. But as long as it says tuning grease, it might even say cork and tuning grease, that's fine. I also like to have with me when I'm oiling my valves some sort of rag, cloth, or tissues, paper towels. This can tend to get a little bit of messy, so I like to have something with me to wipe that up. All right, so we're gonna start by actually talking about the way the air travels through the trumpet. So when you play your instrument, the air starts off by coming through here, and it comes through this tube, comes down here, then it travels into this space right here. This is the third valve. The third valve actually moves up and down inside of this casing. When the third valve is not pressed, the air will come into the third valve and travel straight through. If the second valve is not pressed, it will travel straight through. And if the first valve is not pressed, it will travel straight through. It will come up this way and come out of your instrument. But if the valve is pressed, you're going to see in a minute that there's some holes in the valve and that will redirect the air to come through this tube, through this tube, and through this tube. These tubes are called slides. So we have the first valve, the first valve slide, the second valve, the second valve slide, the third valve, and the third valve slide. You also have something called the tuning slide, which is the largest one right here. And all these slides actually move in and out. See how I can pull this tuning slide out and I can push it back in. So we're gonna start by learning how to oil the valves because we want them to keep moving always nice and smoothly and if the oil gets um, just kind of worn away or absorbed over time, you'll find that these are kind of hard to push up and down and we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna start by unscrewing the valve cap right here. And let's do one valve at a time so that we don't get them mixed up. And we don't wanna have a lot of valves kind of sitting around because they're actually very breakable or dentable. So once this is unscrewed, you're going to pull the valve straight out and be very careful with this because just a little dent on this side here um, could make the valve damaged and then it'll be hard to move up and down. So like I said, there are some holes in here. So as you press the valve down, that redirects the air to go into the different tubes. And this silver part down here is the part that you want to keep nice and shiny. It looks gray, but it's usually silver. Um, it could be gold, but usually that part I find it to be silver. So you're going to take your oil, the liquid thing, not the grease, and you're going to put a couple drops right onto that shiny part of the valve, right around where the holes are. So a few drops here and here, then I'll turn it over very carefully, put a few drops on the other side. Some might drip down, that's fine. Be careful of the oil because it will stain your clothes. Um, so try not to hold it over your legs, over your pants. It will stain your clothes. So now you're going to look on the valve and you're going to see a number. Mine's right here. If you can see that. Mine says one and you can ignore the end, but you should have a number one there. And that's because it's the first valve. The first valve is always closest to where your mouthpiece goes in. So you're going to take the number and you're going to make sure that the number is facing where the mouthpiece goes in. There's where the mouthpiece goes in, and there's the number. It's facing right where the mouthpiece goes in, and then you're gonna give it a little wiggle. You might hear a little click. It should sit right down into its spot. 
has to be in there the right way. Otherwise, your air is not going to go through your trumpet. Those holes won't be in the right spot and then the valve will be all blocked up. So now I know it's in the right spot because I can't turn it anymore. So it's clicked right into its right spot. And now I can tighten up the cap. And valve number one is all done. So now I'd like you to pause and I would like you to go ahead and do valve number two and valve number three. And then when you're all done, you can hit play and we'll talk about greasing our slides. Okay, now we're gonna talk about greasing our slides and you don't need to do your slides that often because they'll stay nice and greasy on their own. But like I was showing you the tuning slide before, you wanna make sure that these are able to move. And if they're not greased properly, they can get frozen in there and the slides can get stuck. So let's start by actually pulling out the tuning slide all the way. That's the one that has the spit valve on it. And you are gonna take your grease and you're gonna open up the tub, get a little bit on your finger. This is why I like to have tissues or paper towels or something handy and you're going to wipe it onto the slide. Make sure all the areas are covered. You don't need a ton. And then you're going to put it back in where it was. If you push it back in and then you see a big buildup of grease here. That means you just put a little too much. So you can go ahead and wipe that off. And now you have greased your tuning slide. It should be nice and easy and slippy to put in and out. The tuning slide is the easiest one because it's not attached to an actual valve. For the, the valve slides, number one, number two, and number three, you need to hold down the valve as you pull it out. Otherwise, you're going to get this popping sound and that's not good for the inside of the valve. It could break the seals, especially if you do it a lot over time. So we're gonna hold down number one. Then we're gonna check out valve number one and we're gonna see what slide is attached to this valve on both sides. I see that this slide right here is attached to valve number one on both endings. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out slide number one. Then you're gonna put some grease on that just like you did for slide uh, for the tuning slide. On my trumpet, you will notice that the grease is going to go here and here. Do you see how this part is dull while this part is shiny? The part that slides into the instrument on the inside is the part that gets greased. Yours might be both on the tuning slide, I mean on the slide or both on the instrument, um, but you'll be able to tell because it's like a little less, it's a little more dull. It doesn't have the lacquer on it. That's the part that you grease. So go ahead and pause and get that all greased up. Then you are going to hold down valve number one and slide that back in there. Now we're going to do number two. Number two can be the hardest to get out because it's so little. So what should I do? I'll set it down. I'm gonna hold down valve number two, and this is the small little one right here. It usually has a little knob on it that kind of helps you to hold on to it. And it might just pull right off, but you may actually need to get a good grip on there and just kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull, and just kind of wheel it right out of there. And then you can go ahead and grease those two teeny tiny little parts there. Hold down the valve when you put it back on. So you can go ahead and pause now and um, grease slide number two. Now that we're done with slide number two, I am going to turn over the trumpet to find slide number three. It's on this side over here. I'm going to hold down the third valve and some of you may have a little screw right here. That is to prevent the third valve from sliding out. So you can't pull it off because this little screw is in the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to loosen up that screw. You don't have to take it all the way out. You can just loosen it and then 
hold down number three, and then you should be able to pull it out. You may not have that screw. If you don't have the screw, you can just pull the slide right out. But if you go to pull the slide out and it's caught on something, it's that little screw that you need to loosen. So you can go ahead and um, grease the two duller parts, and then remember to hold down the valve as you slide it back on. And if you loosen the screw, make sure to tighten it back up so that that third valve slide doesn't end up just falling right out on you. So go ahead and pause and do number three. Okay, now we have oiled all our valves and greased all of our slides. So you should have put, taken out one, two, and three, put oil in there. You should have taken out slide one, two, and three three and put grease on there and you should have greased your tuning slide. This maintenance should be done on your trumpet. Um, the oiling should be done about once a week. You want to keep those valves moving nice and smoothly or as needed. If you feel like a valve is not moving as smoothly as the others, it's not going up and down nicely, then you can just stop and go ahead and oil that. So about once a week for the oil. For the slide grease, it can be done less. I usually say about every other month. So we're doing it now in October. You should do it again in the beginning of December. And you can keep an eye on that by just kind of moving your tuning slide once in a while. Make sure it slides nice and easily. If it's not sliding smoothly, you can go ahead and add some grease on there. So make sure to keep good care of your trumpet. One of the most frustrating things for trumpet players is when they're trying to learn a song and their valve's not moving smoothly. Sometimes it could be that you push the valve down and then when you let go, it doesn't come up on its own. That's a sign that your valve needs to be oiled. And um, if you wait too long, sometimes it could be too late and then you need to bring it in for a chem clean or a repair. So make sure to keep up with your oiling and your greasing, and um, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the way that the trumpet works, and I will see you guys in our next lesson.